Hi, we're me and Jeremy. We left our home in March of 2022 to travel to all 50 states in our converted Sprinter van with our two little dogs. Jeremy is working on a golf book, and after the first couple of months, we decided to share our travels with you. Here's what it's like to travel America in a van in 2022. This week, we're in... It says listen. Was what do you hear? I thought that I was gonna be able to eavesdrop on that lady's conversation. <laughs> we parked our van across the river from downtown. So our day started with a stroll through the city to the beginning of our main tourist activity, walking the Freedom Trail. Oh, and we passed the Boston Tea Party Museum on the way. Freedom Trail is a brick path that weaves through the city's historical landmarks, reliving the birth of America. In Boston, the clash of modern development with history slaps you in the face. The funniest example to us was the old corner bookstore that played host to meetings of Charles Dickens, Harriet Beecher Stowe, and others that is now a Chipotle. This golden grasshopper weather vane named Gus was copied from the London Royal Exchange building. The Oyster House is the oldest restaurant in the United States. The North End is Boston's Little Italy, home to, you guessed it, more historical landmarks. We accidentally drove our van through here earlier in the day and could hardly squeeze through the skinny brick paved streets. Oops. Poor Veer got a lot of love on our walking tour and we were reminded that he didn't say the British are coming because technically everyone was British. Instead he said the regulars are coming. On this walking tour I thought that you and me were right next to me. And he just says an interesting fact, and I just turned and went, wow, that's crazy. And it was just some random woman, and she just <laughs> stared, and she was like, oh, sorry, I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> Oh.
The Freedom Trail took us through Charlestown and so far from our origin that we Ubered back. But if you have three hours to see all of Boston's historical landmarks, then follow the Red Brick Road. <laughs>